all I want to do is crawl into my bed, wrap myself up like a burrito, and not deal with anything. My name is Edgardo, and I just turned 30 years old. <laughs> a little bit about myself, I am Puerto Rican. I am first generation raised in the US. I identify as queer, which is me basically saying that I am not straight and I never will be. I am a writer. Um, I usually write plays for the stage and screenplays, but anything that has to do with words as a form of self-expression and storytelling, that is my zhuzh, and that is what I do, and that's what I like to do. I'd like to welcome you to my channel. I've been diagnosed with bipolar depression. And that isn't anything new to me. I've been diagnosed along the bipolar spectrum for a while. I go to therapy and I am on medication. And honestly, that's probably why I'm feeling the way I'm feeling is because um, they just up the dosage on my antidepressant and I am trying to like, like I'm trying to like balance it out so I'm not like, like, I don't know. Ma'am. I'm vlogging because I want a visual documentation of my pursuit of wellness. I really struggled in my 20s with a lot of things that I obviously I'm carrying into my 30s because I literally just finished that decade of my life. Well, that period of my life because 20 to 30, 30 technically is the part. Anyways, I have a constant need of being validated. I have a constant need of being important to people. And I logically know that that can't be the case because obviously not the case and that's okay I guess I have to be okay with it <laughs> I hold myself back a lot and I want a reminder to not do that I also would like not to be a perfectionist and not to produce work that I think has to be absolutely perfect me as a person, the things that I need to work on is getting myself in continual growth and not even just growth in my art, but growth in wellness as well. I just learned about this recently, but wellness is multidimensional. So a lot of topics that will be discussed are dealing with wellness in the aspects of physical, mental, spiritual, emotional, intellectual, and environmental. And social, did I say that? There's seven. There are multiple aspects of wellness. Um, and that's what I want this to be a visual documentation of that for myself. Um, and if I can entertain people along the way, great. I hope you all have fun and enjoy the story that I am telling of my life. <sighs> In this channel, I hope a lot of things. Um, I want to be creatively fulfilled. I want to have work that I'm proud of. I want to show work that I am working on and show an honest process. I want, I want 
myself to stop taking life so seriously. I want to show people who are struggling with mental health that um, everything is a process. I want to show them that some days you won't feel okay and some days you'll feel great. Right now I don't feel the best but you know that's that's what happens. I want to encourage you that from no matter where you come from, what background you have, um, what kind of home you were raised in, if it was religious or not, um, if you feel that your parents' love is conditional because they can't accept you for who you are. Um, or anybody at that matter, growth is possible, change is possible, and it is a continuous process. And I hope that I get to display that to you, that this is a evolving thing. I asked my dad a couple months ago, and I asked him, um, about how his 30s went if his life got easier in his 30s and his answer was no <laughs> so um, the point of that is that you feel like you're going through your teenage years and it's all um your teenage years, you feel a certain experience, and your 20s are a certain experience. My 20s had a lot of ups and downs, uh, ups like moving to New York. That's an up for me. Um, I came out in my 20s. I started embracing who I am in my 20s. I started, I started on the path of not like giving a fuck what everybody has to say, but my 30s are going to include more of that energy because quite frankly I don't care what you have to think I don't care if you disapprove of me I don't care if your parents told you to stop hanging out with me because they disapprove of me I don't I fucking, I fucking lie because, because I care. I care. But I don't want to anymore. This hurt that I've been holding in my heart, I I want to leave it behind. I want that to just be a part of my 20s as an experience that I had grown from that I choose to better myself for me. Because I'm finally going to do things to, not for the approval of others, but I'm going to do things for myself. <laughs> and I do not care what people have to think about it anymore. I, I don't care. That era of my life is over. We're done. Sweetie, we're done. We're done, we're done. This channel is going to encompass a lot of things that are going to include travel. It's going to include um, honest, real days of me probably feeling like shit. And then me feeling great. Me on a journey going forward and being okay. The plan is for me to upload a video every single Saturday at 1047 a.m. Eastern Time until I turn 31. That's the plan. And I want 
to stick to that. I'll check you guys later. Peace. Love.